All right. So let's just settle into a nice, nice comfortable seated posture. Welcome everybody as you're checking in. And you know, when we hear about something like Mary's mum, uh, even though she's not passed yet, but it, you know, it's not looking great. And uh, you know, always reminded of impermanence, things changing all the time. So I just feel. Now, one thing you can do if you if you don't bring your mind back to the breath, if you're not feeling very grounded, is you can just focus on your feet. And for those of you with your feet down, you can just really try and feel the pressure of the feet in the ground. Line your shoulders with your hips and imagine this spine is a string of pearls of light that stretches from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. So just really lengthening our spine. Take a nice deep breath. And then bring your awareness to the crown of the head and just relax your scalp and forehead, eyes, nose, cheeks, mouth, jaw, back of the head, back of the neck. Allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat and the chest and the belly and all of your limbs. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. And just be aware that however it is you're turning up this evening, you showed up. So anything else? And it doesn't really, anything else is a bonus. And also it doesn't, you know, how are you showing up today? It's all good. It's just where we're at. And be aware of the sounds in your environment, just allowing those sounds to be there, trying not to follow with the mind. And then notice the thoughts that are arising. And this is, this was uh, Mingya Rimshay's message, was to just develop awareness. We're probably not going to, you know, it does take a long, long time to turn these habit energies around. So, you know, one of the things that is important to develop is an awareness about what's going on in the mind. So with this awareness, it becomes you become powerful and it's a tool and you can make changes you can make the changes you wish to make because you understand what's going on so you objectively look at the mind not criticizing not following going off down some street about with some story just taking a step back and watching what's there trying to put some space in between the thoughts, trying to slow it all down. But also knowing it's not stopping the thoughts that's, that's going to make the difference because anyway, we can't stop our mental continuum, but we can become more aware of what's there. And then bring to mind all the people of our life, our loved ones, you know, some people that just kind of turn up in your life, they somehow have a profound impact on it. And due to good virtue and karma, you know, the conditions come together for you to meet a person that is, is uh, makes such an, a positive impact on your life. A very good friend a spouse, a child, and then there's uh, those that we don't like terribly much, and then there's our strangers, and they all change place at any time they can, again, due to impermanence.
So I think we'll do this practice this evening for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension, all sentient beings. And particularly for Mary's mum and Mary and her family. You know, Mary's been hosting this Vajrasat for Meditation uh, since 2021. She was uh, the first host, I think. So she's done a lot of volunteer work for this organisation. So she's a very big part of our family, uh, uh, this community, this spiritual community here. So I think... We we'll start by thinking there is no negativity that can't be purified and this purification process is psychological. So, you know, we do create the neg where the negative negativity is created is in the mind. So we do have this ability to change it. So sincerely regret from the depths of your heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day in this life and in all of our past lives, and you know, think of specific actions of both your body and your speech, and then in general regret all. And the reason to regret is based on this logic of karma. You know, we experience everything due to our past actions. So having harmed others, we are going to necessarily experience suffering in the future. So we never know when a karmic seed is going to ripen. So best to pull out the karmic seeds before they do ripen in some kind of unfortunate, difficult, inconvenient way. It just makes sense, just logical. So we think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others, and then think again, I'm sick of this suffering, and then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, who we see as a doctor, and he has these methods that we can use to purify, to heal ourselves. We don't want Bhadrasattva to be, you know, Oh, please forgive me. Da, 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 I did this wrong, this wrong, this wrong. It's That's not what it's about here. We are purifying ourselves by relying upon, you know, this medicine, this advice. So imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head. And you can also imagine this is the mind of your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. He's made a radiant, blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion. And he has a beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long and peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. And he has a sweet red mouth and his hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom and the right is holding a vajra which represents the indestructibility of compassion and their bring cross represents the union of these two, and this symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So in order to develop compassion, we need to rely upon other beings, and the very beings we have harmed and those who have harmed us by developing compassion for them. So think particularly of people you've harmed recently and in the past, and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time. And then remember those who have harmed you, and we have compassion for them because the harm they've caused you is going to result uh, in suffering uh, for them sometime down the track. So make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the benefit of all these beings and think I must purify for their sake. And now we come to the power of the remedy. And this is the medicine doing the practice of purification. And then we start with the body. And Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart. And it arcs around and enters your crown. 
and pours into your entire body, filling you completely, and it keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid, and this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anaracta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sitame Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira meboa, sitokaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, anorecta meboa, sawasidi mimpiyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, Dira meboa, sitokaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, anorecta meboa, sawasidi mimpiyatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe and Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe and Vajra Sapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think that there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And next is the purification of our speech. And Vajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra. And this arcs around and quite forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and the useless speech and lying and talking badly about people behind their backs and getting others to agree with you. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anorecta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpiyatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe And Vajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dira meboa, sitokaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, anorecta meboa, sawa sidi mimpiyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, dira meboa, sitokaya meboa, sipokaya meboa, anorecta meboa, sawa sidi mimpiyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ha
and a rectamiboa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiam kuru hum ha ho bagu and sawa tata gata vajamimi mutsa vajabawa mahasamaya sata a humpe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita. Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bago an, sawa tata gata vajama me mutsa vajabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe, an vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita. Dina me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So feel happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything but benefit others now with your speech. And next is the purification of our mind and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown and, and fills your entire being. So just imagine, you know, you walk into a room, you flick on a switch and the light instantly dispels the darkness. So the same here, the moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of our mind, all our attachment, neediness, depression, bitterness, grudges, jealousy, all of this is instantly dispelled by this light. Um, Bajras, oh, excuse me. Um, Bajras, Afasamaya, Manupalaya, Bajras, Afadina, Patita, Dida, Meboa, Sitokaya, Meboa, Sipokaya, Meboa, Anarakta, Meboa, Sawa, Sidi, Mimpi, Yatta, Sawa, Kama, Sita, Me, Sitam, Shriam, Kuru, Hum, Ha, 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 Ho, Bago, and Sawa, Tata, Gata, Vajrama, Mimuta, Vajrabawa, Maha, Samaya, Sata, A, Hum, Pe, Um, Bajras, Afasamaya, Manupalaya, Bajras, Afadina, Patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, an vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, an vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, an vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me, Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita. Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. An vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita. Dida me boa, sitokaya me boa, sipokaya me boa, an erecta me boa, sawa sidi me piyatsa sawa kama sita me. Sitam shiyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bagu an sawa tata gata vajrama me mutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum. So be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech are completely purified. And think now that there's no space in your heart for anything 
other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. And next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. And this time imagine that Vajrasattva sends light and nectar and it fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy there. Om Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Vajrasattva Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasattva Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, and vajrasapha samaya manupalaya vajrasapha dina patita, dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Bhajrasapha Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sitokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajrasapha Sama Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anurakta Mebowa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Am Bhajrasapha Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapha Dina Patita Dita Mebowa Sitokaya Mebowa Sipokaya Mebowa Anarakta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sata a hum pe, am bhajrasapha samaya manupalaya bhajrasapha dina patita, Dita mebowa, sitokaya mebowa, sipokaya mebowa, anarakta mebowa, sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. So now feel completely purified. There's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. And now we come uh, to the power of resolve, and this is the fourth and final step in the purification process. It's really crucial that we make a decision because, you know, without deciding, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this, this is not going to happen. So that's where we start. Okay, I don't want to harm any more. Here's my starting point. This is go. And then from there, you know, we continue with this determination to not harm with our body and our speech and our mind. And this this determination, we, you know, this we make the decision we don't want to harm, and then we get more specific with my body, my speech, and my mind. And then we can get more specific again, exactly what with my body, my speech, and my mind. You know, we all have different habits that are harmful to ourselves and others. And some of those habits could be as much as this lack of awareness of that little bug that's under your foot. So you just have a habit to not notice. Or you're not training yourself to notice that you're accidentally stepping on something. I have a friend here in the Bay Area and she's a yoga teacher. I think some of you may have, came, she came once or twice. And, you know, we'll go for a walk 
and she's the first person to notice the lizard in the bush. And it always kind of amazes me. This kind of it's almost it feels like almost like an extra perception when you know a person can you know notice that ant on the ground. Because once you've noticed the animal, then or the insect or the bug, then it's it's in less danger from you. So maybe we make a wish to heighten our awareness of our own internal processes and then also the physical world around us. So imagine Vajrasattva is delighted, you know, with this, with us, with this process progress we're making and uh, he wants to merge with your mind and melts into white light and absorbs into you through your crown and you think my teacher's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same. And then Rinpoche would recommend to meditate on emptiness and emptiness there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma and there is no negative karma created. So we just place our mind in this kind of idea of emptiness. For many people, it's just like a concept. It's, like, it's going to be a concept till we figure out what it is or till we get an experience of it. So we just start with the words. We think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. There are a bunch of dependent arisings. And then we can think of, well, maybe things just don't, exist the way I think they do. I don't know. I, I only see the world through the, the physical body that I am currently in, and that is determined by my age, my culture, my current state of health. If I were in a dog's body, the world would look different. So anyway, we can start by practicing in this way, slowly, slowly. So then just dedicate all the positive energy, all the merit we've created uh, to all living beings, to Mary's mum, to Mary and their family, and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment, the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And Michael, do you have our next set of verses, our next three verses? I feel so good we're doing this. <laughs> Are we up to 13? Are we did 13, 14? We're up to 16. With this request to the Tathagata, the master of all secrets, Vajrapani, his body bowed, his palms politely joined, then stood before the Lord, Lord devotedly, the reply, and so the Blessed One, Lord Shakyamuni, the blessed of men, the fully awakened one, extending from his mouth his handsome tongue, a tongue unmatched in both its breadth and length, displaying a gentle smile to living beings, a smile that fills the threshold world with light, the threefold world with light, that tames the enemy, the four Maras, that ends unwanted birth in all three forms. Okay, we're up to verse 19. Well, slowly, you know, see, we've only been doing it a few days and we're already we're up to verse two. So there you go. All uh, right. So one quick question. I've never heard that the Vener that the Buddha had a big, wide, long tongue. Me neither. But uh, he had, he had, he, I, I was actually just thinking the same thing as I was reading. I was like, well, that's news to me. Anyway, the, <laughs> but he, he did have very long, uh, um, you know, earlobes. But who knows what that whole tongue thing was about? I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, might be something to do with the speech because Buddha's main gift to the world is the speech. We can't talk without a tongue. So who knows? I don't know. Anyway, let's wish for His Holiness the Dalai Lama to have a long life for the swift return of Lama Soprimpache and for the long lives of all our teachers. Okay, everyone. Good night. Lots of love. Oh, so there's a puja tomorrow, a Tara puja at 
6 o'clock mountain time, 5 o'clock my time, Pacific, and 8 o'clock Eastern. So everyone's very welcome, whoever wants to come. And I'll put something on Facebook now. All right. Good night, everybody. Lots of love. Thanks for hosting, Michael. Bye. Thank you.